Entering a cave is like walking through a portal to a different planet. Caves are one of the most abstract environments here on Earth, and in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a four-step process to create a stunning cave that captures viewers' eyes with god rays seeping through the entrance. So step one is to prep our scene, so I'm going to add a character to our scene. I found her off Mixamo. And so now, when I go to make the massing of our cave in the modeling mode, I know what kind of scale I want because I have my character as reference, which is great. So I just made a cube and I'm going to accept that. Let's center it. And then I'm going to scale it. I found that 10 by 12 by 6 works great. So now let's hop over to this model button and click this poly cut. I'm going to rotate it so that the hole is coming out through the side. I'm also using a round rectangle with the ratio corners all the way up. Now I'm going to angle this slightly so that the cave sinks deeper as you go back. So I'm happy with this and I'm going to hit accept. Now I'm just going to push my character closer to the entrance here. And one last thing I can do is set up a camera that I like from inside the scene or a viewport that I like. And then I'm going to hit control enter one and this created a bookmark so now if i scroll over i can just hit one and be right back to where i was which is super helpful and now that our scene is prepped we're ready for step number two which is downloading and placing assets so in pixel bridge i'll be using under collection environment the nature these canyons of utah i like this collection because i found the rock formations to be a bit more organic and round and i want that for my particular cave now, I've already downloaded some assets. And now I'm going to speed sculpt to also save you some time. Um, but some things that I'm looking for when I'm doing this is this asset I thought would make a great entranceway as it kind of has some natural rock steps, which I think would be nice for leading you into the cave. And then there's this one, which I think is my favorite asset, I really like its shape. I like that it's con concave. And then there's some more floors, which are great. There's another rock wall, which I can use and manipulate. And some rocks at the end to just add some detail. Now let's move on to lighting, and you can start by selecting the directional light. Now hit Control L and then right click, and you'll be able to control the sun. Now I want the sun to be coming into the cave, something like that. And let's also turn on fog, volumetric fog. So let's go ahead and find volumetric fog. I'm going to check on volumetric fog and then increase the extinction scale to 4.2. And now head over back to directional light and let's increase this a little. And now if we really want some god rays, we can check on this light shaft, both the light shaft occlusion as well as the light shaft bloom. Now we can turn down the intensity of the light overall. So I'm gonna make it 0.5. And for this brightness, let's go ahead and make it 
We can increase the bloom to 2.5. And let's make this occlusion darkness mask 0.65. Now I'm going to hit control L again and find a better position for the sun. I like this one. So now I also like to add a spotlight and if you're making a film, I recommend doing this. This just gives you more control, which is really nice. So I'm going to turn off my directional light for now and move my spotlight to the lighting folder. Now I'm going to rotate this. I can hit G so I can see the icon better and I'm going to rotate this out of the cave, kind of in the same sun position as our sun. And so I'm going to increase this attenuate radius all the way so that it goes through the cave without a problem. I'm also going to increase this intensity. So I think it looks good about here. I'm going to make this 250 for the intensity. And let's also look up volumetric and we want to check this box for cast volumetric shadow and then we can make the volumetric scattering intensity 4. And now let's go ahead and use this temperature button. I'm going to make it 3500 now that we have a bunch of warmth in our scene. One more thing I'm going to do with the spotlight is increase the source radius. This will make the shadows a lot softer which is really nice. I think 200 is good. And so now what I want to do is add some details to our scene, which is our fourth and final step. So I'm going to be adding some trees to start off as. And I found these trees in Epic Games. They're free, they're a mega scan. So, and I'll add a screenshot of them now. So I'll just be using some of these. Now we can see the god where he's moving to, which is quite nice. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna turn down the spotlight intensity a bit. Let's just make it 150. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit too. I think that's good. And now I can turn back on the directional light, and we're seeing some really dramatic god rays, which is what I want for this tutorial. So I think that's good. And now one last detail I'm going to add is some stalagmites and some stalusites. So I'll be using this Destern Western Spry. And when I add it to my scene, it's much too big. So I'm going to make it 0.01. And now I'll be scattering these around and I'll speed up my process so that it doesn't take all day. Okay, and now one other thing I'll do is I'm going to close off the back of this box. So I'm just going to create another box. And scale it. And I'm going to select one of these materials as well. And now let's make, let's match the material to the box in the cave massing to match the rock. Now if I zoom in here, I'm pretty happy with this result. I'm just going to tweak things a little bit more.
And so now I'm just gonna play with the lighting one last time. And I'm gonna increase this indirect lighting intensity. I'm just gonna make that five. And I'm gonna make it 2.5. I'm happy with this. I can just make my character do the victory pose now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a level sequence. I'm just gonna call it SQK and then overwrite that. And now I can add my character to it and add her little animation, which is victory, because you just completed my tutorial. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. That helped me a lot. And thank you for watching.